If a car arrives in a trailer, then the value is usually very high. The original is already rare and expensive, but this model is a reconstruction and is unique. This is a 1937 BMW 328, no longer in original condition as you can see. It was rebuilt in 1938 by its owner at that time, and the baby is now here. The former owner rebuilt the car for the racetrack, and while that is more than 70 years ago, age doesn't affect this car. The open two-seater from BMW is 3 meters 90 long, and instead of the standard 80 horsepower, the conversion delivers 90 horsepower on the test bench. And at 680 kilos, it weighs a whopping 140 kilos less than the series production 328. Walter Schluter was a mine timber merchant from Essen who ordered this car and two other BMW 328s in 1937. Privately, he had a hobby, and that was racing. And as BMW also had their own work teams, and he was the only large privateer, the supply of spare parts was limited. So he then built his own racing team. The BMW 328 offers a good basis for conversions, and the businessman from the Ruhr area in Germany utilized this fact. It was not his style to present his passion in the open. For participation in the race, he turned his name around and started as Walter Rittelsch. Walter Schlüter had a mechanic, and that was Tony Verschnitz. And he told him, in order to stay competitive and also compete against the factory teams from BMW, I need a better car. Tune that up for me. Tony Verschnitz also had some ideas, and he took the entire technology out of the engine, set the gears 12 centimeters lower in the frame so that he had a lower center of gravity and was able to drive through the corners faster. He gave it a completely new aluminum outer skin, which was a little more streamlined to regulate wind resistance and covered the subfloor as well. But also the BMW 328 production model doesn't need to hide from competitors. It is still regarded as a dream sports car. Planned back in the early 30s of the last century, it came off the production line for the first time in 1937. Overall, the Bavarian Engine Works only built 464 cars of this type. The open two-seater is ahead of its time. The four-wheel hydraulic foot brake, one of the hydraulic brakes developed by BMW, replaced the then standard cable brake. The new type of delay, an advantage not only for the racetrack. Other things are important with the design of the car for the hobby race of Alta Schlüter. It should have less output to become lighter, so the mechanics replace the whole body with light metal. The frame is made of aluminium. The streamlined shape is good for the aerodynamics. And now the car reaches a top speed of 160 kilometers an hour. Everyday usage looks different. Tony Verschitz had the racetracks of Europe in mind with the construction of the car. The big steering wheel dominates the interior.
In the original, there is no speedometer on the dashboard. And gadgets for the racetrack, hand throttle, choke, and a start button. The car exudes speed, and one wins races with a car like this. The concept and implementation match. Walter Schlüter had a different problem. Walter Schlüter only had one problem. That was the tires. And he could only get tires from the manufacturer. And because he was so fast with his car, and he wanted to have the tires, he found himself in a predicament and mostly slowed down before the finish. He had to let the factory drivers go past, otherwise BMW would have said, you get no more tires. And that would have been it for the driving. Uh, after the war, Walter Schlüter sold his BMW to a British mechanic. It stayed in England until 1999. Then it got a bit forgotten. In the middle of the 60s, they found it in a state of disrepair in a barn. And then the world rumored that this was one of the lost Mille Miglia roadsters, which was then cleared up pretty quickly. The legendary Mille Miglia car, 1939. Hitler prepares Germany for an attack on Poland and BMW builds the 328 in a record hunter, which has no equal. The Touring and the Cam Coupe, two close 328s. Thanks to lightweight construction and strong torque engines, they dominate the two-liter class at this time. The people from Bayern drive victories in Le Mans and the Mille Miglia in 1939 and 40. The 328 became the favorite car of the avid male sports driver. But for the amateur pilot, Walter Schlüter, other things were more important. This is completely aluminum. Compared to a normal 328 standard series, the car weighs 140 kilos less. So now we're talking about a total weight of 680 kilos. The direct comparison between reconstruction and original shows the Schlüter version has a high power-to-weight ratio due to the more powerful engine and the weight savings. In 1939, Walter Schlüter starts in his converted 328 at the Grossglockner Grand Prix, the Eiffel Race, at the Nürburgring, and the Hamburg Stadtpark Rennen. After the war, he's rarely seen at the start, until he eventually sold the unique piece to an Englishman in the 50s. The Schlüter BMW 328, a unique race car from the 30s, is one of the first tuning objects from German race car history. The spirit of the Mille Miglia lives on today in a vintage car rally. Back then, all major automotive manufacturers used the 1,000 mile race to test new technology. In 1940, BMW participated with five cars. Two of them were coupés. The roadsters were classed as being superior with their better aerodynamics. That's why a body version from aerodynamics pioneer Wunibald Kam was also in the group. The car started in 1940, Mille Miglia, and we know that it won in 1947 in Hockenheim. Karl Kling drove the car at the time. The car, which was the dream of every BMW employee, served Karl Luf, the team owner of Veritas, as a company car. In 1953, Luf had a serious accident in the car, and then the trail was lost. We assume that it was not repaired, but scrapped. BMW decided to reconstruct the Cam Coupe. The aluminium body had to be rebuilt from scratch, and there are only a dozen original photos. Chassis, engine, and axles were taken for the restoration from a BMW 328 Roadster. 
The company Gross from Brandenburg in Germany, specializing in BMW pre-war cars, took on this very challenging task. Es ist sehr schwierig. Wir müssen sehr, sehr viele Referenzmaße nehmen. We had a lot of reference measurements from the photos. We have a few new dimensions, for example, the diameter of the rims and headlights, or even only the BMW emblem. We recalculated these measurements for the components we needed to make. With great tact and sensitivity, slowly but surely, a body was created from aluminium. And with the help of his machine, which shapes the plate, curves and edges until it fits. Time and again, workers adapt the components. The body of the Cam Coupe sits on an aluminium wire frame. The model, again here, only an old photo. The doors also have their own tubular frame, which is attached to the outer layer of the door with a lot of expertise by folding the edge. In addition to the craftsmanship, this project also needs modern measurement methods. Despite best efforts, however, a serious error crept in. One of the major problems was that the original model was milled from foam. This was created taking the greatest care on the computer. And despite this, the, the model didn't have the right form that we need to have to produce a sheared body. And even though a lot was already done, such as floor pans, interior dashboard and so on, we had to set the A-pillar area to the outside by um, one or two centimeters. And this influenced the design lines of many of the uh, components. Was natürlich die gesamte Linienführung vieler, vieler Bauteile beeinflusste. The race car has original aluminium trim parts. The light metal is welded and milled until it has the desired shape. It takes two to three working days for this component alone. The body shell is finished, and the next step, apply paint. The uh, original car was silver, and this was done with uh, fish silver, so that included, amongst uh, other things, ground fish scales. And since these are organic, uh, they were not very durable, and this uh, lac was not light durable. So today we use modern paints to make the color last longer. Today the car is going to be made silver and satin finish, and that corresponds with the former optic. After the paint application functions smoothly, the final assembly is now under enormous time pressure. Only two more weeks and the 328 cam will be presented to the public at the Concorso de, de Eleganza at the Villa d'Este. Finally, after a project time of almost three years, the new 328 cam coupe rolls out of the hall and takes its first steps. The development cars are only known by the customer, BMW. At the wheel, the constructor, René Gross. Relieved, he stands at the end of one of his biggest challenges. The uh, first impression is uh, excellent. I had uh, goosebumps during the test drive. The car shows no sign of weaknesses. Runs very, very well. Ville d'Este on Lake Como. BMW celebrates the rebirth of the aerodynamic cam in one of the most beautiful places in Europe the legendary Calm Coupe. It drives again.
The Bavarian Alps, perfect setting for a noble convertible. One of the most exclusive cars of German production, more specifically from Bavaria. The BMW 503 convertible, a car that shines with superlatives as the first electric roof convertible in a German production vehicle. An all aluminum body, the first series with a light alloy V8. And the corresponding beguiling sound. Nineteen fifty six. The most expensive BMW to date appeared, the 503 and Coupe and convertible versions. Both versions are available in the price list for 29,500 marks. At that time, the price of a nice condo in a good location. Michael Pritchow, owner of this model since 16 years, is still entranced. We have to go back to 1956, and what had so far emerged here after the war, and then suddenly, wow, a car like this comes along with a V8 engine that has 150 horsepower? It can go 190 kilometers per hour? This is comparable to a Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing, that too, a giant car. But otherwise in Germany, and I don't want to offend anyone here, there was nothing like it. That was really a spectacle, an extreme car if you want to call it that. An ultra-luxury vehicle for manufacturers and movie stars. Well-heeled customers such as Count Faber Castell, Ruf August Oetker and film actress Sonja Zeman drive a BMW 503 in the 50s. The elegant two-door takes all the gold medals in Cannes, Rome, Lisbon and Vienna. The aluminum cover of the bodywork is made by specialist Bauer in Stuttgart. The design doesn't follow a standard fashion from America or Italy, but is completely independent. The 503 marked a turning point in BMW style. It leads the transition from pre-war design to a sensible design language. The simple shape of the pontoon refrains from any effects and emphasizes the ideal proportion of a Gran Turismo a long bonnet, and a short rear end. Even the sporty sister, the BMW 507, is described by many classic aficionados as being the most beautiful BMW ever. The BMW Roadster was developed for the American market, where European sports cars enjoy a high reputation. The design of both models, 503 and 507, comes from the pen of a seasoned personality in the automobile form environment, Albrecht Graf Goertz, who previously worked for the US manufacturer Studebaker and knows the American market exactly. The 507 is to be his undisputed masterpiece. Many celebrities drive this chic roadster. During his military service in Germany, Elvis Presley charmed female fans in the 507. Another admirer of the 507 lines, the character actor Kurt Jurgens. Today, the two-seater still belongs to the design masterpieces as a true BMW. Also, Adrian van Hoydonk, the BMW chief designer, pays the highest respect to the design. 
It really has this predator-like look because it runs so beautifully forward here. And this cover section, which is something we still work very hard on today with our cars, is a typical BMW cut. This car already has it, and Graf Goertz, who was a freelance designer and not employed by BMW, has done this very well. The interior of the 503 also impresses with its simple beauty and aesthetics of the 50s. Three simple round instruments embedded in a dashboard made of sheet metal and a few ivory colored buttons. A 1956 state of the art for the gentleman drivers. But the birth of the 503 comes at a difficult time for BMW. Exclusive and expensive cars are difficult to sell in post-war Germany. The people from Munich build only 139 units in five years. The Bavarian Motor Works is on the verge of bankruptcy by the end of the 50s. The rescue are small cars like the Azetta and the BMW 700. The comfort and potency of a 503, of course, don't offer this. The engine is a masterpiece of German engineering. The world's first V8 engine made of cast aluminum. Fed with fuel by two carburetors, the engine delivers up to 160 horsepower. Even Mercedes can only offer a six cylinder at this time. Michael Pritschau from Garmisch Partenkirchen in the Bavarian Alps, Germany, is happy with his convertible at home on the road. Even through the open top two door model is now one of the highest priced classics. The sympathetic guy does not see feelings of envy from other road users. On the road, especially on the highway, first they overtake me, then give the thumbs up. Then they go back slowly. Cameras and mobile phones are taken out of the pockets, and then I have to overtake them, and then I get overtaken again. This is always a great interplay, and really nice, again and again. It takes time until the 503 establishes itself as a desired classic car. Today, a 503 convertible in good condition costs about a quarter of a million euros. <laughs> 